Teachers in Flint saying they're underpaid and underappreciated and accusing the school board of pushing their backs against the wall. Their frustrations stemming from a rejected settlement agreement that took months to reach. Until that point, they thought it was a done deal. The board explained why it rejected the settlement, but a union leader tells TV5's Trey Harris why he feels the board has lost credibility. Without that pressure valve, teachers get to a breaking point and they're there. They're there right now. The Flint Board of Education backing out and rejecting an already agreed upon settlement with the United Teachers of Flint is making some teachers reconsider whether this is a district they can continue to teach in. Teachers need to get paid. They, they, have, to be a, they have to prioritize their family just like anybody else does. But this is really about Flint students. The agreement would have seen salary steps re-implemented to increase pay for teachers as well as teacher recruitment and retention. Pay for many teachers has been stalled since 2014, and the union points out that Genesee County is also the lowest ranked in reference to a salary schedule. It's day-to-day -day subs, there's vacancies, they run rampant in Flint, and you know, there's not enough teachers even to provide planning periods for elementary teachers. The proposed settlement had the support of teachers, school administrators, and three members of the school board, but the full board saying that it needs to be financially responsible in the face of a $14 million structural deficit. But that argument no longer rings true for teachers. For 20 years, it's always been something about finances, right? And it seems like every time that it's time to do what's right, finally put the teachers right back where they're supposed to be from all the concessions they took to keep Flint open, now we have no money again. The settlement rejection prompting the United Teachers of Flint to file unfair labor practice charges with the Michigan Employment Relations Commission, as well as approving pickets and the possibility of a strike. The teachers are backed into a corner. Without a conversation, what else are they supposed to do other than show a, a, a united front of some sort? Reporting in Flint, Trey Harris, WNEM TV5. The MEA says it's trying to get in contact with the district for a face-to-face -face conversation about the settlement agreement. It's urging the superintendent to act quickly to prevent relations between teachers and the district from further deteriorating.